Hello everyone, FedEx Gaming here, welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. In this video, I'm showing you how to build a simple secret room. Now, I don't know if this works on PE, since PE's Redstone is a lot different from PC and console. Now, I did actually download PE on my phone, but it just hurts my fingers so badly. So, just letting you know, I did buy a gaming tablet. I don't have it now, so soon I will be able to test out my creations on PE, and maybe I can go ahead and do some PE Redstone, because like I said, guys, it's really, really different from PC and console. So, to get into this secret room, all I have to do is just throw a block right here. It will open up my secret secret room and now the cool thing about this secret room as you can see you can put it wherever you like it is flush to the floor so you can stick this thing wherever you would like so once we are ready all we have to do is jump down here into our secret room now in my secret room all i have is a few chests i got my brewing stand and you know my diamond armor and all that good stuff now we want to see how we leave this area so all we have to do is come right back over here so to get out of here all we have to do is just run on to our slime block right here go inside of our dropper take our item out of our dropper and we'll be thrown back out of our secret room like nothing is there so i'll do it one more time throw my item at it it will open up the secret room since the slime block is there we should take absolutely no damage we are now in our secret room and then when we're ready to leave just come back over here take our item out of our dropper and we will be thrown out of our secret room so let's go ahead and look at the redstone this thing is very easy to build guys as you can see here is all the redstone behind this build nothing to it it's a four by four spacing and all we have to do is dig down five so let me just show you here as well so when i put my item inside this dropper boop it will open up and then if I take the item out, it will close. So, boop, and it closes. So, let's go ahead and start building this thing. All right, guys. So, for this build, you're going to need a four by four spacing, and you're going to have to dig down five. Now, the resources you're going to need for this build are four sticky pistons, two normal pistons, one hopper, one dropper, one redstone comparator, two redstone repeaters, one redstone torch, nine redstone, one block of redstone. We're also going to need a slime block, a sand block. We're also going to need seven immovable objects. You can use obsidian. I'm going to be using furnaces. We're also going to need one minecart with a hopper and a rail. Now, you will be getting your block of redstone and one of those pistons back that's just a heads up you're going to be getting the block of redstone and one of your pistons back all right guys so once you've gotten your four by four spacing and dug down your five come to the bottom left hand corner and we're going to count over one block one i'm going to break down this block right here and we're going to place a sticky piston facing upwards with a slime block on top of it then right behind it, we're going to break down one block right here as well. And we're going to place a piece of redstone right here with an immovable object on top of it. So I'm going to take out my furnaces and place my furnace in backwards off of that slime block. So right here is what it should look like. Then going into that furnace, we're going to take out one of our repeaters and set a repeater going into that furnace on two ticks delay. Next up, right next to that two tick delay repeater right behind it, we're going to go ahead and break down one more block. Once again, place a piston facing upwards with a sand block on top of it and that will create a monostable circuit then coming out of this sand block right up here we're going to place a piece of redstone and then we're going to place a block up right next to that redstone with a piece of redstone on top of it then we're going to place a block right above this redstone one block over break this block right here and place our one redstone torch off the side of it it should make our sticky piston activate right here next up we're going to do is come up a block next to our block with our redstone torch on it place a piece of redstone down right here come out one more block again and we're going to go ahead and place in a comparator going into that redstone go ahead and take out your comparator and place a comparator going into that redstone like that next up take out your movable objects we're going to place an immovable object right here an immovable object right here and yet again right off this side if you dug out the area this is where your secret room is going to be going into we're going to go ahead and place another immovable object right here as well so this is where we're going to be walking out into our secret room then we're going to go ahead and place in three more right above all of these as well so one two and three and that should be all of your removal objects you don't need to use those anymore so we can go ahead and get rid of that then right above this furnace where our comparators we're gonna go ahead and take out our dropper and place our dropper right here then we're gonna go above our dropper and place in a hopper going into the top of our dropper just like that so now if i place an item in here it should activate this right down here so if i place an item boom it should go down like that then when i take the item out of the dropper our sticky piston should activate right there activating the slime block Next up, what we're going to do is come right over here to this redstone torch, place a block right above the redstone torch, place a repeater coming out of this block going that way on four ticks delay, place a block up in front of our four tick delay repeater, and then place in two sticky pistons right here. So one, two, and then we're going to face one up right here, and then we're going to take out our block of choice for our top part. I'm going to be using smooth sandstone. We're going to place a smooth sandstone block right above this sticky piston. Now, we want this sticky piston right here activating. So, go ahead and take out your blocks of choice you want for down here. This is going to be your walling block. And we're going to place it right here next to our sticky piston. Then, we're going to swing back all the way over here to where this redstone torch is. As you can see, that's where the redstone torch is. Let's go ahead and use a different color here as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and just use uh, red. Let's just use red. And we're going to bring this line right from here all the way over to that block right there so just bring this block going all the way down like this and then bring it up 
to that block right there so boop and boop and we're gonna just take our redstone and wrap that all the way around to this redstone right here and now as you can see our sticky piston has activated so now if i throw an item at it boop it will open up and then when i take the item out it will close let me go right down here take my item out and as you can see boom it will close up behind us and that is it guys you are completely done so now all we have to do is just a few more things and we'll have everything put together so now what we're going to do is go ahead and place a block right above this hopper place our rail above the block place in our minecart with a hopper break this block so it falls into place it will activate this just in case your rail you can go ahead and leave your rail down there really actually let's go ahead and take it out we actually want this block up for now so we want this area up like that so next up what we're going to do is take out our blocks of choice and wrap it around this minecart so boom boom and ooh, i'm not in fly mode and boom like that's so now we have blocks choice all around it next we're going to place a block of choice right above our mine cart and come up two more one two actually come up three more like that so there should be four and then break the third one right here take out your piston and we're also going to need our block of redstone and place our piston facing downwards send power to our piston and now we can go ahead and break all of this right here and as you can see now it is completely hidden so if i place a block boom right here it will open it up and then if i take the item out it will close it now if you want to test it out to make sure everything is working all you have to do is just place one more block right here off the front of it and now we can go ahead and test it to make sure it's working so stand right here throw an item boop we will fall into our secret room like that and then when we want to leave just take the item out of our dropper and we will be tossed back out of our secret room like nothing is there and that is it guys you are completely done that is the entire build so now all we have to do is just clean up the area so of course just come down here and dig this area out so i'm gonna go ahead and just speed it up so there we go i dug it out as you can see here's where i'm gonna have my secret room i'm not gonna put anything in it you guys could do whatever you would like down here and then when you're ready you can go ahead and just fill in this wall so you don't have to see any of your redstone fill in this wall over here so we don't have to see any of our redstone over here and then of course there's this one little tiny spot right here that we don't want to see inside here as well so we're just going to place a block right back here off this hopper so now inside of here we can't see any of that redstone back there as well we can't see any redstone down there and then when we're ready to leave all we have to do is just take our put we'll put our item back in because i took it out so boop and then when we're ready to leave just come back over here and we will be tossed outside of our secret room and now what we have to do is just clean up this top area as well so uh actually Oh, where's my mine cart? I'm going to lose that mine cart. Okay, so it's right here is my mine cart. So I'm just going to go ahead and place in a sea lantern right here just so I don't forget. I'm going to place a sea lantern right here like that. So now it's right next to it. There we go. So now all I have to do is just fill in this entire area so it looks like absolutely nothing is there or out of place. There we go. Fill this whole entire area in. Fill this in. And boop. Now nothing is there. So once I throw my item at this block, boop. It will open up my secret base. Come down into my secret base. Well, secret room. I could do whatever I want down here. Of course, if I want to close it up behind me, just take the item out. And it will close it up behind me. And then when I put the item back in, it will reopen it up. Jump over into here. Take our item out of our dropper. And we will be thrown out of our secret base like nothing is there. So there you guys have it. That's how you build a simple secret room slash base. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. And subscribe. Stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Boop. Peace.